In this video, you will have all the tools needed to become a master at identifying master-made marbles. Hello, my name is Stephen Barr and welcome to the channel. And together, we will explore the master-made catalog and we're starting right now. The Master Marble Company began operations in Clarksburg, West Virginia in 1930 after several employees of the Acro Agate Company kind of defected to start up a new company of their own. And Master Marbles then in 1941 had an organizational shift and was then renamed the Master Glass Company and it continued business up until 1974. We will cover the marble styles of both of these companies in this video as their product lines were very similar with the earlier company using more vibrant colored glass. These models will include the Comets, Meteors, Sunburst, Tiger Eyes, Brush Patches, Cloudies, Cat's Eyes, and we'll compare them to similar marbles of the other vintage companies. Now let's look at a little packaging first. As Master also won the bid for the Century of Progress themed exhibit for the 1933 World's Fair. And they built a house that featured over 5 million marbles in the bearing walls, which actually was a, a, a small retail shop. And Master sold a variety of limited sets and collectible display boxes for this event. And then I'm showing some of these products here. So let's take a look at some of the marbles that Master produced. First up are the Comets. Comet was a company marketed name and they came in their own custom packaging. The marbles are described as having an opaque colored patch on an opaque base. As with any of the styles, there will be some amount of variation and some Comets can be easily misidentified as acro patches. And here are a few examples to show the wide array of glass color combinations used. And this is one of my favorites with a deep chocolatey base and a scarlet red patch. And this is a glittering group here of comets from the David Snow collection, all exhibiting different amounts of aventurine. The last pair being fully loaded solid to the core with AV. As noted earlier, it's often difficult to differentiate between the acro agates and the master marbles, especially when it comes to the comets. So I'm showing a spread of acro patches here, and while there's no hard set rules, it's best to first study the glass colors and the seams of the marble to get a better understanding of the differences between acro and master. Here's an acro patch that shows a straight seam which is standard for acro and almost unheard of for master. Acro will also sometimes show a thumbnail shaped seam though. And here's an acro patch that shows a straight seam on one side of the piece and a thumbnail shaped seam on the other. And to be fair, you can find this seam combination in Peltier, Vitro, and Marble King as well. But for master maids, that would be highly unusual. And one more tip for acro. In this image, if you could imagine the white circle is the outer edge of the marble, an acro patch can show a similar shape to a vintage glass TV viewing screen. Some of you older folks may remember these TV sets. So we're spinning these two acro patches in a 360 degree radius just to help demonstrate that comparison. And you can see this pattern in the acro moss agates as well. Now the standard description for a master seam is a U or V pattern as shown here. But you can take this a step further on some of the more drastic examples. And they can be likened somewhat to the ear flap of a sunfish. Yes, we are comparing marbles to freshwater fish. Another trait you may notice with Master is that the two halves of their marbles are not symmetrical, meaning those seam points are not usually 180 degrees away. There's usually a larger backside and a smaller front side to the marble. On some examples, you may find a pair of crimp marks on the seams. 
Consider this a maker's mark as you won't find these crimp marks from the other companies. And here's a comet and a brushed patch with the textbook crimp mark. I just wanted to provide a little visual reference here to some of the non-master marbles that are sometimes confused with master. The foreign or imperial types may have similar seams, but the colors on the glass are usually louder and the quality is somewhat cheaper. The older vitros, these are slightly different color scheme as well, and the seams are most likely straighter. Another early master model are the meteors, and they are described as having a translucent patch on an opaque base, and they can be often overlooked as comets until you backlight them hard to, to see the translucency in the patch. And here are a few proper examples. And folks, check out this heartbreaker, dream maker, love taker. Just imagine it's an early 1930s. It's a Great Depression. There's bread lines and 25% unemployment. And Master pumps out this five-colored peacock with tracer white stripes on a textured translucent base for some lucky child to enjoy. It's an honor to own it and to share it here with you. Drop the mic. Let's explore the fabulous and wildly variable sunburst styles. These are among the most collectible pieces that Master produce. And they were a master's attempt to replicate the vintage German handmade onion skin marbles. Sunbursts are super appealing marbles containing a series of thread-like strands running from pole to pole on the interior and at the surface of the marble. They can run from looking transparent based to translucent based to appearing nearly fully opaque depending on the density of the base glass and the threading put into each piece. In this spread, I'm showing examples of what collectors refer to as typical master fall colors. And they become more recognizable as you see more and more of the master brand. They include somber shades of ambers, browns, and greens, along with a distinct celery looking color, as well as attractive reds and mahoganies and a very pretty royal blue. And some of the glass on the sunbursts may vaguely resemble older vitro trilights. And you'll notice a detailed wood grain appearance on some of the finer examples. And here is one of my most treasured pieces. It has a bubbly clear base and a crisp pink and white striping at the surface. Pink is a more uncommon color for vintage marbles. And this one reminds me of the infamous Peltier Pink Flamingo marble. This is an example of some oxblood in a sunburst. And here we see one with some unexpected eyelashes at the seam. I wanted to bring your attention to a Vecor de Mexico model that can be a real stumper for master. These are called Vecor Sunsets. And they will show a milky or wispy interior with thread work on the inside and a loud orange or yellow patchwork at the surface. These can be extremely similar to master sunbursts. And let's take a look at some snow globes. These are from the Kathy Huggins collection. This is a rare sunburst style that has white frit glass mixed into the interior. And this is a more refined sunburst style that many collectors refer to as sparklers. These are similar to the renowned Acro Agate sparklers, but normally have more subtle colors. And will not show the color spectrum of five or more colors that the Acro is known to have. In my experience, these are more scarce than the Acros. The Master Made Tiger Eyes. This is arguably the most prized and high-end style that Master produced. Any serious Master collector will have a sweet pride of these beauties in their collection. They are made famous by their showy selection of quality glass, including flaming oranges, fiery reds, and pompous blues, greens, and turquoise. A typical tiger eye will have 
two to four colors wrapping around the marble from seam to seam. And a real good one will show a perfectly circular opening into the center of the marble that resembles an eyeball socket, revealing a smartly colored transparent or clear base. These are spectacular little pieces. And let's take a look at the Master Cloudy Marbles. This is the master made counterpart to the Acro Moss Agates. They will show that wispy white translucent base with usually one patch color on the surface. They can look identical to the moss agates unless you can identify that textbook master seam. And here are a few examples. Here comes the brushed patches. I've only seen them brushed with a white glass and that white is a super duper icing white. They can be clear based or transparent colored base and the blue ones are pretty attractive. Now for a special treat for this video, we have an unopened bag of master cat's eye marbles. Well, hopefully they're cat's eyes. They could be brushed patches. There's 20 in this bag. It's a poly bag. They started making these in 1957 up till 1974. So this is a baby boomer slash Gen X bag. <laughs> So let's go and open up and see what we have. Let's see what kind of pieces roll out. All right. Tons of fun. <laughs> All right, so we have a very wispy design here. This is clear. You can clearly see the master seam there. This piece has a little amber to it maybe. Probably two veins. Well they're uneven really. This one has four so there's some variation. This actually has two colors in it. It's a pretty marble here. Almost looks like a sunburst. Look at that. Look at the seam on that. I'll have to get close-ups of this. A little bit of bubbles going on. So there we have it. It's basically one or two colors. And man, they kind of look like sunbursts. So those are cat's eyes from Master Glass. And while we got the video rolling, we're going to look at another type of master. This is the master of the midnight sky. This is a great horned owl primary feather. And we have a eastern screech owl feather. This is also a primary feather. This has six bars on it. The great horn has a chestnut sort of look to it. I don't know. I wanted to share my owl feathers. So there we go, Those, there's some masters for us. And to be a little more thorough for the video, let's throw up these other examples. These cats have a little more form to them. These are also masters, and you can see a three and four vein pattern here. And the blues on these are like a light baby blue, and the greens are a baby green. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to thank everyone who helped with the research and photo contributions. If you found this content helpful or enjoyable, please check out some of my other videos. And thank you for watching Vintage Machine Made Marbles.